Hey everyone, hope you're doing well, staying physically and mentally well during this weird corona season. I've been thinking for a little while that there isn't enough commentary videos out there, especially on YouTube that are talking positively about other creators. So I thought, why not make my own? But rather than talk about other creators on YouTube or filmmakers, I thought I'd talk about something a little bit more relevant to me, photographers and photos. So in each episode, I'll be hoping to take a bit of a deep dive into a photographer and their work and why that inspires me in one way or another. So I hope you guys enjoy and will join me for each episode. Catch you guys. Hey everyone, stoked you could join me for the first episode of uh, Photo Commentary. Um, in this episode, I'll be going over the work of Woody Gooch, AKA Woody G Photo on Instagram, and I'm stoked you guys can join me. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so here we go. First episode of Photo Commentary. Um, I'm really stoked about this first uh, photographer I'll be reviewing because I've been following his work for a few years now, like many years. I think I first found him um, in some surf magazines like Foam Cemetery, um, and I think he's had his work um, featured quite heavily on the Deus um, Instagram, uh, and I think he's worked with some big brands along with Bill Bong. So I'm familiar with his stuff coming from the surfing world, but in terms of his photos outside of surfing, I think they're pretty brilliant as well. And I just thought I'd take a bit of a deep dive into his style and what inspires me about it. So yeah, if you want to check him out, it's Woody G Photo, obviously. On Instagram, his handle's there if you want to find it. So let's dive right into it. So one of his more recent photos that kind of stands out to me is this capture here, which is absolutely stunning. It's stunning for to me for a few reasons. I think the colors um, are super contrasting and, and beautiful and the composition is really powerful too. Um, right off the bat, we've got the nice deep ocean blues and that's sort of uh, contrasting with uh, the red bikini there of the surfer and I think that's absolutely beautiful along with the green kind of um, tones up here. I lo also love the the stance of the surfer. I love that it's like it's quite straight um, and I think that kind of ties into the very minimalistic uh, caption he has here which is just instructor of style and she's looking very stylish I love the yeah the overall composition it's not a huge wave but it's you know it's just a simple kind of moment and I think that's um, something that Woody G photos capture captures very well it's just I don't know simplicity um, of action moments I suppose you could say but this photo really stands out to me for a few reasons as I said it's it's colors composition and yeah, the caption is a bonus <laughs> instructor of style. A lot of the time, um, I think Woody G puts pretty minimal captions on his photos and captions are good for putting context, but sometimes that's just a, a nice little set of words like it is here. But I think especially for Woody G photo, he lets people kind of just let he lets the photo do the talking more than the caption writing you know words about the photo the story which is you know it's something a point of difference for him so moving right along the next photo in his feed that really jumped out to me was this capture here um i just love that the there's texture up there in the clouds the sort of subtle clouds i love that there's a blank piece of sky here which is uh you know might have been atten yeah, mightn't have been intentional for uh, Woody G to shoot but it just adds to the shot anyway because it sort of roughly fits into the rule of thirds um, and your eye kind of goes oh that's sort of the rule of thirds and it sort of just makes it slightly more pleasing for the brain for some reason that it fits into one third two third and three thirds um, I love this shot because of the just the absolute simplicity of the colors it's all blue you've got that bright ocean color um, which is probably saturated a little bit of the um, 
of the wave here. I love the, the guy doing the huge bottom turn here and a guy just paddling for a wave out the back. And I love the, um, yeah, I love the simplicity of this moment. It looks like a beautiful day. That's the thing with Woody G's photos. They just, um, me personally, um, they just make me want to go for a surf really. <laughs> so that's something that um, you can see throughout his work. So going through his feed, you can just tell that he's got such a clear kind of defined style. I love moments like this where he sort of, he leaves out quite a lot of the shot um, and just kind of really hones in and, and crops in on one little area. And it almost makes the shot more artistic because he's leaving negative space. I love the negative space running through this shot in between the swimmers there. So that's something. But going through his feed, I love how he captures the really natural moments of, of surfing and, and nature. And I think that's something that he does extremely well. Um, just looking through his, his photos, not a lot of photographers these days focus on black and white and it seems like Woody G kind of does that quite a bit. He, he posts quite a lot of black and white photos and I think that that's, um, it takes a lot to sort of be intentionally minimalistic in terms of editing. I personally, I shoot a lot. Obviously I, I only shoot in color but then I go to make a black and white later and I find nine times out of ten I just leave it in color because I'm I enjoyed the colors in the moment and it seems a shame to kind of take them out but for him I think it almost adds to it taking the color out it's more so about the composition and the moment um, and he does these silhouettes very beautifully which um, which you can see here them this is a nice moment it might have been dawn light you can kind of tell from the from the clouds here it might have been early morning light but he's chosen to take that away and just make it about the composition and the sort of the overall shape of the photo which is it's a challenging thing but um he does it very well personally photos like this really inspire me um i just love the way he captures the essence of the of the ocean he doesn't overdo it in terms of the the edits um, he keeps it pretty clean and, and simple. I love the out of focus elements here, the water, um, the bokeh in the foreground, and I love the mysterious nature of the, the mountains kind of running up into the cloud over there. Um, really simple kind of shot, but its overall feel is, is really beautiful. And that's something that I like and I sort of aspire to capture um, in terms of ocean photography. It's kind of a, it's more of a feeling and less of a overall subject or composition, what have you. There, there's a real um, vibe, so to so to speak, in the in the shots, and he does that very well. As you can see here, he's had some uh, covers of Monster Children. Uh, before which is a if you don't know it's a sort of surfing and skateboarding lifestyle magazine very cool um, very very great photography and and stories in there but he actually won a few years ago the monster children photo award i believe it was 2017 i could be wrong about that date but he's um yeah so he's had a little bit of uh expose i believe with monster children in the past Here's another example of his very minimalistic uh, work. And um, it's just a, looks like a, a surfer paddling maybe for the next set of waves and some gulls perfectly positioned here. Um, super simple, but very pleasing for the eye. These shots are incredible that he's done. I think this was like a series or a shoot or um, a couple of, of different shoots in the same time of day and same kind of lighting but I love that it's raining on the water here um, this texture brings such a like ominous vibe and but still pleasant to look at not scary in any way but but um, 
you can almost hear the rain falling on the surface of the water here and I love the the, the little feet, little kind of orange tan feet sticking up out of the water kind of brings a little sense of humanity and, and comedy back into the photo, which I think is an important thing. But as you can see from, from his feed, it's more about what he kind of leaves out almost of the photo that makes it a pleasing thing, which is a very hard thing to do. I know it might not sound it, but leaving things out is, is very important. This is the first kind of shot that really drew attention to me of his work is the the sort of slow motion uh slow shutter ocean uh, surfing shots he does it incredibly well i'll chuck him a like and um these are the first kind of photos i saw in foam symmetry which is a surfing magazine i believe i saw his work in there and that's how i started following him but yeah i love the the feeling of of these photos because i've tried them out a few times myself and gotten some compliments from from surfers and they say that it looks more like how surfing feels if that makes sense rather than just a still capture of um you know the wave all frozen and and the surfer up in the air or something like that which is epic don't get me wrong this very much captures the speed and the overall feeling of what it's like to surf and um yeah it brings a brings a beautiful sort of sense of motion to the photo Here's another frame from a similar shoot of the raining, um, that's a beautiful photo, the raining, uh, rainy day on the surface of the water. And I just love the color, the deep sort of blue color. We'll dive a little bit deeper on his Instagram to go a few years ago and hopefully find that winning photo. Um, that won the Monster Children Photo Awards a few years ago. But it's absolute pleasure to go through the feed. Um, you know, we could look at these photos for hours, I think, and, and still get plenty of entertainment out of them. Again, lots of rainy days. I'm not sure if it was the same shoot and he's just spread it out over, over years of content, but I think, um, it does it does a justice it does a it does the shoot well but again looking at his style it's overall a very clean and distinct um vision you can tell that he has a lot of uh artistic sort of insight into photos he doesn't just capture the the what sort of he sees he more so captures what he feels and i think that's a really powerful thing for a photographer to do um and it's a really hard thing to do something that i personally worked on for for years and and i've seen a lot of people do well i think this is the photo yeah this is the photo that won him the award I think uh, for monster children and oh my gosh what a capture again him with the rain he seems to be always out shooting in the in the water when it's raining um, which brings it such a sort of magical but ominous feeling to the photo and oh my gosh a butterfly on resting on the finger I can't even believe this shot I think a few years ago I remember sending him a direct message and saying this is amazing is this real and he said, yeah, it was just an absolute fluke of a shot to get. So congratulations to him on getting it. And um, yeah, it's very well done. Beautiful moment. Well, as you can see, we can go through his feed for hours, but we'll pick uh, one or two more shots here. I love this shot. Um, simply because he's just flipped the shot around. Um, usually it would be uh, counterclockwise 90 degrees and it would just be a more so normal surfing shot still a great shot but 
I love that the, he's flipped it around and it's given a completely different perspective, almost like this guy's jumping into another world and he's desaturated it to make it look even less like the ocean. He's more so jumping into space or something like that. Absolutely love it. We'll finish up on this photo here. How could you go wrong? You've got the Land Rover Defender, motorbikes, surfboards, silhouette, sunrise or sunset somewhere and such a powerful shot. I love the action moment of the guy climbing up on the front here to get the board off or something like that. Um, I think these kind of shots for me are, are so, so good if they're done authentically and this definitely looks like it is as long as you actually you know, driving there and you're not just putting the motorbikes on there for the shot, I think, um, I think it tells more of a story. And I think, um, I think his shots are absolutely fantastic. Definitely go check him out if you got some time. Um, give him a follow, check, follow along with his work. It's, um, it's incredible over the years and I'm sure that he's going places. So once again, it's Woody G Photo on Instagram. And if you want to check out my work, it's St. John Imagery on Instagram. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. See you later.